To write your own stories? Yes. Well, so the, the story kind of, why is it called In Memory of Our Life and Love Together? Well, this was the story of um, Elizabeth and Elizabeth and Marilyn's great grandfather, Sam Livingston, and great grandmother, um, Jane House. So Sam and Jane Livingston were the first settlers in Calgary. And um, um, they had 14 children. And Sam Livingston the second, and, and he had two children. Here's Sam Livingston the third, and the sister. And the, 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 he was the second one, the thirteenth child. Sam was unlucky. He was thirteenth child. That made him unlucky. Yes, died and he 25. died at twenty-five. So he, he, his wife couldn't afford to keep both children, and what she did was to, um, she adopted this one out. And not this one, she adopted a, a boy out in order to have a good life, you know. Yeah. But that was also the way, you know, men and women weren't as important, women weren't as important as men in a way in those days. And attitudes to women have changed, right? But he was given the opportunity, but he was never told who he was. And then, um, they wrote a um, book with their, the family, their mother, Marilyn Dowler. She is the one who the story starts with. She's the one who did the first research. And then she asked me to help her put it together. Marilyn Dowler. Marilyn Dowler's mother. Over her mother. Her mother, yes. They all started in the classroom. So this book came out and brought Tell Me Grandfather. And that is Sam Livingston the third. And now the family. And I was living in uh, Shimanas. I mean, I was living in um, Mill Bay, and he was getting in Shimanas. So quickly, he, he phoned me one day, and he said, I've just been given to my grandmother for a present. He said, could I be the missing grandchild? Yes, he was and is. And I said, your sister is dying of cancer in Calvin, up in Calvin. So he went there, met the sister just before she died, and he took with him this picture, which that's, is not in the book. The it, this is not in the book because all this is happening is the book is coming. The ring is coming together. And so he, he, his mother, when um, she adopted him out, gave him half of that picture. And so he had that when he went up to Calgary to meet this long lost sister, and the sister had the other half. And they put them together. And she'd been looking. I knew her. That's her again. I knew her because she had done a lot of the research too. Her family did the research in this book. And so she had the other half. So they put the two together and proved their, proved their identity. What a story. And she died shortly after. So that is the miracle. They have that story book. So that was the connection you made. And it all started with an egg. Monterey. 
Monterey yeah, Elementary. Monterey. And yes. here I just walked past today and went, hey, I'm in that book and I'll show you where Yeah, oh, you're in the book. Oh, oh this is in the book. This is a What's your name? Patty. Patty what? Patty. Pat. Hayden. Hayden. Yes. What, is that your name now? Uh, no. no. Oh, I don't no. want to know your name now. I want to know your book name. Yeah, and I'll find <laughs> And, you know, I've been coming here for about four, three weeks now, and I have met about three or four of my old, uh, old, former, of my former students that are in these books. Yeah. Here we have, I have, here's, uh, there's one of my classrooms with a seal in it, sea lion. This is a given book. I, it's amazing, but you know, I, I had cougars. In, um, four cougars, and I gave them to the children to take home with them. And they were <coughs> in grade four and about eight years old. Can you imagine if I'd be allowed to do that today? <laughs> no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm an Australian, and we do strange things. And I, I was just new in the country. It was my first class. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Gypsy, you're just like my baby sister. I've changed a little bit. <laughs> is a lady. Oh, you look just great there, and you look great now. She doesn't look a day <laughs> older. And, so and this see. is that was grade seven, 1969. So, okay, that so was uh, 79. I, I would have been 12. I'm 62 now. Wow, you haven't changed much at all. And what, tell us what you're doing. I'm weighing her because every day we weighed her to make sure she wasn't losing weight and being unhealthy, and we were trying to boost her up. And yeah, well, she wow. was just part of our group. And what, and what did the teacher tell me tell you to do a lot? I wrote this book in three weeks. It was so easy. Why yeah, do you I think? Did, uh, oh, I didn't bring the uh, the ink. Sorry. Me, what did I, it's what okay. Did I'm going to put it right there. My like, givens in my homework. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just needed a lot of contact and obviously food and love. She needed to be part of her. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. I did not it want to have. I came home and I had this orphan to look after, and it came from the it came from the um, Tacoma Zoo, and they knew that I looked after wild animals. There, oh look at it, looking for a mother. Oh. <laughs> and it used to just cling, it would just cling onto you. And I'm just like, that's adorable. Yeah. And, but I get the kids to write diaries, and every day. They would write in my homeroom yeah. class. Yeah. Every day they would write diaries of what Gypsy was doing, and she was the very center of our curriculum. She was. She, yeah. yeah she she taught us math that. because we yeah. did graphs yeah. of her weight. But we loved to go to class. You know, it was just a joy to go to <laughs> class. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> no, it was one of the highlights of going going to school. You know, those are the highlights you remember. Yeah. And she's just come, yeah. I've come back into my life today, five minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I can't even give her away a book because I don't I have, have one. another one. I have one. Oh, she has one. I have a copy. My mom well, bring it. Oh, I'll, I'll leave it here. Take my I, card. I, I have. I have. Copy. And I'll sign it's it. It's in Victoria. You know, take. I leave it. Find out where I live. But I'm going to the Arctic, crossing the Northwest Passage on oh, Saturday. Oh, are you? So you're, I'll be you're, back at you, the end of September. You are going away. And that book led. This is the school she's talking about, Monterey Elementary. Mm -hmm. It's now called Monterey Mil Middle School. Yeah. Um, but I don't you remember? I, I had all the I, why I read. Why I read? I did this book in three weeks. I, I have taken. I have taken eight years to write one book, but I did this one in three weeks. It wrote um, itself. <laughs> it wrote itself. Well, you got the audio. Why don't you tell? You show the, the pictures. Show these people. Okay. They're looking at it. Yeah. Sure. If you don't mind. You've all got lovely hair. I wish mine was like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but, and it's also called an egg came out of my hat box. No, I wrote it because I had all of the kids' work. You know, they wrote a daily diary and I um, and poetry. Um, I don't know whether you've got your, one of your poems in here. I, I don't. I don't. Class. I don't know my my mom because she was just like she she just had the book. <laughs> you know, so I've got it. Well, this, yeah, that's it. So this is the one now. Tabasco just thought he was who is this? And I, I took, I took this raccoon to Simon Fraser University, and um, so I was now the student yes. at university, and I took, I smuggled the raccoon to the, um, to, in a, to an, I was living on a no pet apartment at the bottom of Simon Fraser Hill, uh, you know, in, in Burnaby. And I had an orphan raccoon that was given to me by the Vancouver 
zoo and had to look after it. But I, the New Zealand lady said, no pets are allowed. Uh, you're not allowed any dogs, no dogs, no cats. She never said no raccoons. <laughs> used to carry Tabasco in my grocery bag up there and when Tabasco went out on the balcony you know she would be looking down in the parking lot oh I would think oh my gosh don't want her to find out so um, but I had to go on, a, on an airplane ride across uh, Canada um, an airplane ride I had to go on 17 airplane flights to talk about a book called It's a Raccoon in my Parker that's another book that I wrote about me with a raccoon traveling it in a little rubber boat all the way up to Alaska, way up, in, way up in Alaska, and then all the way down again, and then a raccoon in my parka. So that book is called It's a Raccoon in My Parka. So now I have this raccoon, and I'm going to go over here to the box, because this is the box. Do look them up and have a look. Come, come. Come down, come down. <laughs> Joy to see you today. And so here, I'm going to... This is, the, I, I tried to smuggle the raccoon, I tried to buy it a ticket. Um, this is the box I carried around and I found it about a year ago. This is like 60 years, 50 years ago. <laughs> and here's how the book begins. I'm trying to take the raccoon across, I'm going across Canada on 17 airplane flights and back again. And I'm doing radio, television, you know, lots of shows. So, two I'm at the airport. Two tickets to Toronto, please, for me and my pet raccoon. I said to the lady at the Air Canada ticket counter in Vancouver. I tried to sound nonchalant, as if this was something I asked for every day. <laughs> she looked up startled and then drew back in alarm as I placed a wooden box in front of her. If she'd been in a bank, she probably would have reached under the counter for the alarm. Or if it's modern day, she would have said something on her telephone, right? I know he has to go in the baggage compartment, I said, so I brought my own carrying case. Unless, of course, you want me to use yours? The lady behind the ticket counter stared at the box as if any minute she expected it to explode. Did you say raccoon? She said, fearfully. She's not believing that I had one. Here I said, well, um, reaching into the pocket of my parka and pulling out a red woolen tooth. Meet Tabasco. The lump of grizzled fur snuffling sleepily into the palm of my hand looked more like a pincushion than a one-pound, weak-old, orphan raccoon. Oh, the lady's matter changed immediately. Oh, she said, it's just a baby. It's adorable. Then, remembering she's in an airport, she looked horrified. You can't put that little raccoon in the baggage compartment. No, it's too tiny. It might die. What do you suggest? I asked innocently. The ticket agent's voice had dropped rapidly. Looking quickly behind her to make sure nobody was listening, she said, wrap it up in a blanket, pretend it's my baby. <laughs> now it's my turn to look horrified. I certainly had a baby, and I had two bags of baby supplies. But somehow I couldn't take Tabasco through security as a baby human. No, I had another plan. Do you want to know what the plan was? Shall I tell you? Well, I'm not going to, because you're going to read the book. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good marketing. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. That's good marketing. Okay, yeah. I'm going to do a circuit for that. Okay, thank you. I'll probably I'll, I'll, I'll get a book, too. Bit, they're selling for $167, I was told, on the internet, because they, the Amazon thinks that there's none left. And I only have them because my publisher, unfortunately, had a big fire, and, uh, and she wiped her out. So she has no longer a business, unfortunately. So I have the last book. Okay. So um, they are, they are, yeah, this price is twelve ninety five in cash, and I'm giving, I'm giving it away today for ten dollars because okay. it's a nice okay. round figure. So if you'd like one, I'll Thank sign it for you. Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Oh, can you sign it for us? Oh yes, I, you have to stop me signing because I have to ask first. <laughs> <laughs> Need a pen, right? <laughs> Um, and as that, an added value when you sign it. And if you want my name in it, um, I'll, put, I'll put your name in it. And if you don't, you can then give it away to someone. Two for one. Entirely up to you. Sometimes I forget to take the money, so remind me, will you? I'm, I, but I love telling stories. <laughs> You're a great storyteller and, and an adventurer and so amazing meeting you. Thank you so much for sharing.
Well, I hope that you read all of the books. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. It's I been a pleasure. I can't help but tell you.